All right, why don't you hit us with it today? Last time on Elden Ring. There we go. <laughs> we decided to go back down to the basement. I remember that alleyway. That's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we decided to fight that black flame monk. Oh, Yo, you went to farm him. Over and over and over again. And we got the set. Working, working. All oh, right. That chest piece. Holy. The Black oh, Flame man. Monk set. Um, yeah. I got, got it down to a science with the uh, with the setup and the just the pummel him with magic as he approaches you damn, and then damn, just damn. run in for the repost. Not bad. Black iron gauntlets featuring a flame motif. Attire of the Black Flame Monks. The Black Flame Monks, enthralled by the god slaying Black Flame, became traitors, abandoning their posts as guardians. The seduction of a taboo is never easily spurned. They originally were guardians, like tree guardians, and they turned. So, uh, if we're putting it all together, um, it would seem that uh the 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 queen we were learning about last time might have lulled away the original these earth tree guardians mm. to then serve as black flame monks instead so that's an interesting little thing to note um yeah same thing for the armor which if you take a yeah. look you can see like again the the face like right on the chest mm -hmm. big nose um yeah, and it's adorned with ashen cloth. And then the hood, which is a nice little uh, uh, versatile hood. I like I like hood uh, items particularly because you can use them with a lot of sets. Yeah. You know, like, uh, so I'm always, whenever I see, this took a while, admittedly. Like, the others came a lot earlier than this one did. But, like, I, I, I'm going to go all out for a hood anytime I can, just in case the fashion is going to work, you know? Um, So... This is how it looks when you put it all together. Okay. Hey, it looks nice. Not bad. I like it. Yeah. I, I, I like it. It's it's pretty cool, you know? Um, and I'm always on the lookout for something that is like if... I mean, I'm, I'm obviously rocking like the barbarian look, but like I'm also not opposed to looking like a punch mage mm -hmm. if I can create a build that has... Like if I can create a build that is like robes and like mage ro mage robe mage hood but the arms are just ripped <laughs> you know what i mean sleeveless yeah <laughs> you know that would be so good but anyways this guy's um, a mile morales over there <laughs> like that's a whole lot of fun um and yes I'll, I'll take note to say that it didn't specify tree guardians necessarily it just said guardians that mm -hmm. that betrayed their posts so um you know i i'm i that was my own thing so back down i went to, uh, to caleb uh and the area where the dragon barrow yep was and just decided to do a little more you know exploration exactly now that uh the big one has been taken care of seek up what's up whoa hey okay that's a chair many chairs musical chairs up here a bunch of people playing a little final game <laughs> of musical chairs. Uh, and the music is sung by one of those Domine bat motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, high stakes. High stakes. We got a smithing stone eight. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, in this area, too, too there's still dragons running, running about on their own. So I decided to just, like... Stick to the cliff sides. Aha, uh -huh. and you found the Everjail. And finally. Finally. Oh, I mean, wow. I'm I'm glad that like they have these stone things around them as a sign of like cool shit over here, bro. Cause like, damn, am I happy to finally find you it. down? <laughs> Are yeah. you down? So the Cilia Everjail has been found. Okay. Marked on the map. Started then you went to teasing a dragon because I found one of these little statues right here. Okay, yeah. Oh, smart. So let's. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been a while since we saw one of those statues. Yeah. 
uh, and then, you know, you can take care of it. So, ultimately, it's it, these dragons, after, like, punching a couple of them, it's a reduced move set from the map dragons, you okay. know? They do the land, they do the stomp, they do the tail whip, but they're really, like, half of what those proper dragons are when it comes to, like, the breathing attacks, the flying attacks, the sw- the sw- uh, overhead you know, moments mm-hmm. and things like that. Like, these guys are a lot a lot more limited. But anyway, cracked open that uh, thing to get a Smithing Stone 5. Okay, I guess I won't spit on it. Nope, nope. And Smithing Stones, I mean, look, as we're at this point in time, like, looking at the damage we take from things, it's it's like, hey, man, I, I'm going to take every single upgrade material I can find, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, just behind uh, the area where we picked up the map... There was a grace. So a lot of elusive graces. Uh-huh. Okay. Not gonna find them on the on the adventure right away, but I'm gonna find them in my homework. So Dragon Barrow West, and you can see right up in the top there okay. is where the statue is. So yeah. it's just up top. So that's a nice one. And then a ghost. I'm dry, dry as a bone. Fool dragon. Surrender your strength. Let me feast on your heart. Yo, this dude got Kaylin'd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> While doing dragon communion shit. That's Kaylin in action right there. <laughs> so, uh, yep, on the ground. Being like, yo, give me those dragon hearts. Come on, bro. <laughs> and just kick it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so, then, uh, a bunch of these doggos are around, but there's also a notable location. Still sturdy, these dogs? Yeah, but you just want to be safe before you go anywhere and do anything. Knock down. Still standing. Okay. Yep. And for the record, a one bite, half life. Of that life bar. As it should be. So these are even tougher dino dogs. But yes, I wanted to kill it because there was a shack up here. With some grace. And. Okay. Hey, hello. Fucking finally. Found a merchant in Caleb. Yeah. A uh, funny little side note is, so those bites, right, when they hit you, like I said, they do half of that big life bar I have, right? Um, and then you go, the oh! little, But the little mangy dogs, the little white ones that are, like, super, fuck, like, those things, like, so after much research, apparently, according to a video by Zuli the Witch, shout out, it's an amazing channel, um, those dogs do something like... 200 damage per second of their extended bites. Okay. And there's a long convoluted explanation for it, but essentially it has to do with the fact that um, when those little mangy dogs specifically try to attack you, there's multiple enemies in the game that share animation like files and um, those dogs have multiple versions, one of which is like a bigger version of the same dog, but to save memory, it's referencing the same attack file. When it realizes that it's not, you're not being hit by a small dog, it automatically resets and says, okay, put big dog damage on the on the player. But then uh, everywhere else, once you take that damage, you just take that one hit and then you can't be hit again. You, but in that particular interaction, it continues to reset the situation okay. so that it applies the same damage to you as long as your hurt box is intersected with its bite. So for this one particular so instance... A check that happens. It does, and it <laughs> fails on this one particular case. And looking at the files, they figured out exactly how and why it goes down. So people are saying it used to do 11,000 damage per second, and now it does 200 instead? Oh, so th- the point is, is... The point is, is okay. you were dead in one you shot. You were dead because of 11,000. Are you really going to have It did this long bite that was just like... 
and no matter what your life was, you're dead. Um, unbelievably nonsense, right? <laughs> Especially considering you're like how weak every other dog is, and what is that? So it's been patched as of the last one. But when you, but like if that explains <laughs> why they would murder you. It, it's crazy, <laughs> and they're meant to still be kind of scary with those bites. But holy fuck, you know. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a bug, where like a just straight up like the eye like the eye frames you should have after taking a hit are not kicking in there, you know, or rather for that particular attack. <laughs> well, that was found. Yep. <laughs> Thank God. They also fixed the um, the wall in, ah, okay. in Volcano Manor. So what's up, merchant? Well, nice it's face. Been age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? Hey, I. <laughs> at least he knows where he is. And he's got a shop. Okay. A couple interesting things in that shop. So, let's go shopping. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I see a set. I see some notes. Boom. New gloves. We do it. New gloves. <laughs> New gloves. You got Spiked them saving stones? You got, you got the gear? Here's the thing. Not enough <sighs> to get it up to where we are. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. We got to go farm. Okay. But, but they're here. But they're here, right? My current Cestus are at plus 16. Um, in order to get these up to that level, I need... 12 of each grade of stone going up to five. So 12 ones, 12 twos, 12 threes, 12 fours, 12 oh, fives. Man. And I can only buy one and two. So for the rest, which I also use to upgrade my staff and my... Um, A bunch of other stuff. My other things. For the rest, I'm going to have to go do some chicken foot farming and then do it the slow way. Okay. Uh... It's going to take a while. It'll have to be done off screen because I don't have the ability to purchase it yet. Um, God, I can't wait for that, that bell bearing, you know, but at the very least, we got the weapon. So now we can do the spike cestus. And it's as time. you can see, the main difference is blood loss buildup. Aha. So we're going back to blood punches cause bleed. <laughs> And I did a little Go, and I did a little test. I sat down and I went, let me put my my ashes in the spike cestus and it absolutely kept the bleed stat uh, while adding the frost stat as well. That's God -like. So we're gonna freeze and bleed. <laughs> brah, brah, brah. How, how, how is the pain on that? How does it feel? Yo. I can't wait. You're Rocky in the freezer. <laughs> Rocky in the freezer. The blood freezes as it comes out of your body. It's going to be fucking great. So we are going to need to get this up to, uh, yep. up to snuff. But uh, for now, it's 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 unupgraded. Yep, yep. I like the look of that. Oh, man. A, a case this with the rivets replaced by blood loss inducing spikes. This weapons come in pair and two-handing this weapon will equip it to both hands. And of course, if we, uh, as you upgrade it, it's that, that number will go up too. So it'll just pop both of them way faster. So that's awesome. So we got that. Uh, other things for sale. Beast Repellent Torch. A torch which burns oil infused with a special incense. The aroma pacifies wild beasts. Torches such as these were used to keep unwelcome beasts away from treasure troves, mm -hmm. troves hidden in caves. So I haven't tested it, but it seems like this might be good for, like, getting the fucking animals away from you, you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to apply to, like, the... Like, there's, like, there's wildlife and then there's enemies, Yeah, you know? I'm like, I don't know if it'll apply to the enemies, but... Um, worth a shot to just see what happens because I tossed the beastler pot down one time uh, with a, with one of the fucking um, the mug bears and uh, it ran over to it for like two seconds okay, and yeah. then immediately turned its attention back to me so I was like oh well that doesn't feel like it's going to be that helpful mm -hmm. um, but yeah there we go 
than the Land of Reeds set. Whoa. Okay. Helm made from strips of iron fastened together, worn by warriors of the Land of Reeds. The Land of Reeds has long been locked in a miserable civil war, during which time it has remained alienated from cultures of its neighbor. Little wonder that the entire nation has succumbed to blood-soaked madness, or so it is said. Apparently, Japan is burning down. Damn. Uh, however, I don't know if this is the set that you start with when you do the samurai starting you know um um class but uh it looks like it um so if you want to do your samurai cosplay here you go right mm -hmm. pretty this cool one has a grimy outer layer i guess yeah tough leather here pretty pretty uh, pretty uh like to take that starting set if you don't choose it and lock it all the way in north Kalid. what the fuck, man yeah. <laughs> you know yeah damn Way to, but then again, I guess we haven't come across the prisoner helmet either yet. So, to be fair, um, yeah, and you put it all together, uh, uh and you get to. Oh, well, actually, we'll get to that in a second. Also for sale, notes, notes about gateways, gateway, okay, and notes about a hidden cave, mm -hmm. which you might have already found, but I guess we'll have to read it to know. Mm hmm. So, um, this is how you look when you put it together. Pretty cool. Very reedy. If yeah. you kind of blur your eyes, you can look at the, you can, the earth tree can be like a rising sun in the background almost. <laughs> yeah. Poetic. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's a pretty cool set. Nice backside. Um, starting this way definitely gives you a different vibe, certainly. But, uh, yeah, the fur. Yeah, I prefer starting like more naked, you know? Like yeah, you wanna, you wanna. I mean, like the, if you start like if this, you start cool. Yeah, like how, what's gonna match this, right? So, You're gonna be going sideways for a while, if not down. That, that's too much. That's too much. But um, indeed, yeah, this is one of those like, did you pre-order to get your special set to start <laughs> with, kind of <laughs> DLC horses? Yeah. But anyway, um, this is so. This is a pretty cool set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to. Um, as I was walking out to, uh this front area okay caught a little ash over here what are you sky shot so gonna okay. check that out looks like it's kind of like a mortar you know like Some up, hawkeye shot. up and down yeah exactly yeah <laughs> aim of hawkeye um sky shot and so it was raining i wanted to go past the time so that i could come back out at daytime and put that armor on so that we can get some better shots I, as I do my little fashion show mm -hmm. <laughs> every time, <laughs> you know. Holding the armor on the side. Like, yeah, Whoa. yeah, you know. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to pass the time. And sometimes things happen. Hello. It's noon. <laughs> it's noon. Yeah, I changed shift with the other guy. He, he what the to fuck, do. man? <laughs> He Bruh. was going to a concert. Uh, it is the exact opposite of nighttime. No, man, it's heavy Montreal, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the day shift today. Caught one of these. <laughs> Kaylin doesn't care about time. Palin never sleeps. <laughs> Palin never sleeps. Palin is awake. So, okay. Shaq. Cool Cestus, cool armor, but everything has a cost. And he took you easy. <sighs> Holy! You saw, you saw the <laughs> yellow on the life bar, oh! right? And it, that this is where it's turned the game into just Zelda hearts because the, the life bar doesn't mean anything. It's really it's touches. Let's just let's just call it what it is. Get the <laughs> <laughs> oh wrong neighborhood. Now, if you go nighttime proper, he still shows up. Okay. But also, sometimes if you go noon too, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps it was the end of his shift, you know. <laughs> but once the once the, the shopkeep pieces out, because he knows when to leave. Mm -hmm. Danger right outside the shack. Danger inside the shack. Danger everywhere. He knows when to fucking bounce. Man, that barely did anything. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh mon dieu, c'était tellement gratuit. North Palin. What you think this is? <laughs> That was so free. Like, come back okay. when you can survive a couple of those. But this area. Kalid versus Palid. Yo, he chopping. And the range on that. Pull back. <laughs> Scrape. You're never safe. <sighs> Fucking Kenshi players, man. <laughs> uh, oh, game over. Game over. He grabbed you, man. Uh... Uh, you got grabbed. Uh, what? What is that range? <laughs> what is that range exactly? Zangief Light SPD. <laughs> okay. So. What is it? Time to remember old ways. Do you remember how we dealt with it? Yeah, there was a setup with a crumple. Oh, let's go. Uh oh. Sometimes you gotta call on your old girl, Trina. See if she can help. Damn. Trina's like, nobody's gonna love you like I do. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Trina! No. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> no. Trina. No. Trina fucking... She doesn't hold me like she used to. Wow. Let you fall out of bed. <laughs> you were tossing and turning in your sleep, like, <gasps> just look at you over her shoulder, like, ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. What the fuck you done for me lately, nigga? <laughs> you enjoy these nightmares. So, time to come at it a different way. Horse with the bow. Still healthy. See. The difference between this area and the others where we fought them is that this is not inside of a building. Mm -hmm. Got a bit more space. A bit. So, sometimes the 1v1s allow for oh. summons or something. These one, This certainly doesn't. But, sometimes you get horseback. Okay. Why the fuck would you not press the advantage? He real, baby, that's why. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. And it's funny because... As these charged comet shards... Are doing, like, realer damage... Than, like, my fucking... Weak-ass punches. Which he just stood there and Armstrong blocked yep. with his abs. <laughs> Shaking his shoulders while you're punching him? <laughs> so, you know. Um, you gotta look at, you gotta, you gotta take every situation into account, you know? And, uh... Yeah. If you're not gonna take Torrent away from me, I'm gonna use my Torrent. So this, this is like, come and fight me. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> no. This is North Kalen. <laughs> the fuck you think this is? Punk, come here. Also, I straight up ran out of sips at an, on an earlier attempt. And then and, you had to go in and then you died? I, 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 I decided to uh, mix, my, mix my flasks around to give myself a little more of a... Of a, of, a, of, a, of a sip coverage. You know? Um. Okay. Within range? Within range? See, there's two words in the word punch mage. And the second word is mage. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't, don't fail. How's your FP? 
<laughs> nope, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Can I shoot? <laughs> no. Check, check your angles. Check your angles. <laughs> yeah, so this... Yeah. Check your goddamn angles. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're this doing is it. not meant to be done with the ma the damage I'm 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 outputting, unless you fucking unless you treat him as scummy as he treats you, you know? Yeah, because he's not fighting the the fair fight, right? <laughs> and that you see that you see that dino dog up top looking to get in. That dino dog's up there looking Chill. to get in. Chill. We take those. Enemy failed. We take no those. Drops. Oh, okay, yeah, Bell Bear. Fuck you, Caleb. <laughs> Fuck off. I, what do you want me to say? So, Gravity there you stone. go. stone. Yeah. Bell. Okay. You did it. He took a few of your, of your souls, but, you know. When that swipe does 60 to 70. On 70. that bar. On that bar. I'm like... It's either that or I'll see you in 10 hours. Okay. Yep. I don't feel like seeing you in 10 hours. <laughs> so I'll see you now. Uh, we got ourselves the Gravity Stone Peddler's Bell Bearing. To get some Gravity Stone Fan and Chunk. And I have to admit, I was kind of excited for the possibility that the stones I needed would come from this Bell Bearer. But... That's no. not what happened. Oh. So it sells Gravity Stone Fan and Chunk, which are just consumables that I already had. Uh, he also drops a clean 50k because, hey, North Kalid. Getting paid. Yep. <laughs> you took his check for the day shift. <laughs> it's my money now. So then we looked at those uh, those notes that I bought. Yes. Fort Guile and Kalid houses a gateway that leads to Red Main Castle. Okay. Okay. So there's a there's there's something there's a teleporter somewhere in Fort Gale that can get us right into Redmain Castle. Not bad. And there's a hidden cave in the town of Celia. Look beyond the graveyard at the precipice. And that I want to keep in mind because we did not yet find our way to help uh, Millicent. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'm thinking about that. Uh, not to mention, of course, there's the secret of the town, which maybe this is. Uh, one and the same, but uh, either way, there's more to do to help her out and to figure out what what's going on in uh, in the town. Uh, and then, of course, we have Skyshot, which I didn't uh, yet test. Mm. Archery skill performed from a low stance. Ready the bow, then fire an arrow, uh, an arrow high up into the the air, uh, arcing so as to strike the enemy from above when it comes down. Light bows and long bows. And that's it. That's a pretty good collection of adventures. And now we're ready. And now we're in. Uh, so this is the Bellum Castle where essentially uh, the route from here down to here is a back and forth in order to get enough smithing stones. Okay. Because God damn it. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's going to be bad. It's going to take a while. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, unless we get real fucking nice and lucky and, and run into the thing that'll give us the ability to purchase threes and fours, uh, this is how it's going to be. So, um, so there's that, and um, since we're back here, we have a lot of things to keep in mind, a lot of little homework to take care yeah. of. What's uh, on your mind? Uh. Well, here, what do I got there? I got like 16k. Eh, you know what? Whatever. That's, at this point, that's no big deal. So what is marked? We're going back to take care of business. I don't know if you want to mark the Gale Cave that was just mentioned to remember in the future. Sure. There's a lot of things to keep yeah. in mind. There's the two notes. There's the average ale. Uh, and there's, um, the two notes, there's the, uh, oh, jeez, that's a huge, I, I don't think I ever saw it start out like that, that downpour. Um, okay, there's the two notes, there's the Everjail, uh, there's the Erd Tree back here, 
Um, so, yeah, we can definitely at least no, not that, but just drop a drop a. Is it is the tunnel and the cave the same? Oh wait, hold on a second, Gale Cave. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Or Jail Cave, rather. Jail Cave, yeah. Okay, put a little thing right there. Uh, oh no, Fort, not Cave. Oh, damn. It was it was Fort. Might be, might be. Uh, take a look at the Kalid list for a second. Fort Faroth is what we found. Fort Gale North. Uh, okay. A note over here. Um, although, full disclosure, I think... I don't know if we want to immediately travel to Redman Castle. <laughs> you know, I think we can wait a second before we, we do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're, I mean, if you're going to go to Redman Castle, you better come fucking... Be ready. Bring a bag. That good shit. Um, and then we've got the secret of the town, and then we've got the jail, and then we've got the Erd Tree, so... Uh, Sauron. Sauron as well, Sauron, yes. Sauron, Einzel. Yes, okay. well, oh, there's the non Kalid areas, too. Yeah. Mental mapping. Room. Mental mapping has uh, has me focusing on what we're near in order to not go crazy right now. Um, so, okay, yeah, what we want is to start up here. All right. Uh, it's fucking. There's a lot. There's a lot to keep track of, but. I, I, I get the feeling that, like, um, I mean, we came up to Kayla to see some cool shit, right? <laughs> Are you satisfied? Uh, I've seen some cool shit, but I get the feeling that, like, uh, if we were to turn back from Kayla uh, at any point uh, prior to the festival, a full-on riot will break out amongst the people who are watching this. So if you want to go handle those people, uh, be my guest. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Big wings. And these fiery walls. Yeah. Still fiery. I mean, that's if you need to put a barrier up between you and the enemy, man, that'll fucking do it. Chill, chill, chill. Didn't need to disturb you, I'm sorry. Chill, chill, chill. They're they're pretty lazy though. They just kind of blur. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay. What do we have? I appreciate the fact that they give you a second right before you step forward, you know? Yo. On your terms. Palid Everjail? Palid Everjail. What you got for us? Whoa. Oh, Battle the hammer game? guys. Hughes. Ah, you guys, yes. Okay, all right. Got it. Wow, swinging a club. Oh, oh shit, what that, was that? That was a bigger area than I expected. Holy shit. Ooh, yo, that's violent. Yo, let's keep it top. Let's keep it top right now. All right, all right, all right. Cute moves, cute moves. And you get a new friend. 
huge is. <laughs> Let's go. That's two good spells. That that pop is nice. It's big. If and you that cast that, that's gonna be good. Yeah. And that hammer is it's a hammer. Uh, can't just be all blade summons, right? One twenty-two FP cost. Hmm. Uh, Hughes came from Celia to study the Haima Conspectus at the academy where he became a battle mage. Haima scholars seek to quell conflict with cannon fire and the gavel, but Hughes developed a longing for it. I like I like that they're pointing it. They're showing you archetypes of, of there's other buff mages before you. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to study them books, and then you got to go lift. <laughs> got to do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you don't see is that that staff has a plate on it. <laughs> Put the clips on. Put the clips on. You know? Don't let that fall. Cool. Battle Mage Hugh. He looks cool. Okay. So, Secret of Celia. Mm hmm. Where did that send us again? Beyond the graveyard at the precipice. Okay. So that would be where the church was. Is what that sounds like. Because we go through. And then we bait it up. And then all the way over to the church of the plague. It was right near the graveyard. <laughs> Hang in there, hang in there. Still there, still there. As long as you don't get worse. Alright. Look beyond the graveyard at the precipice. Okay. Uh, that is the gate we came through. Let's see if we won't be able to spot a cave. We haven't been down there yet. Is it time for exploration? Uh, yeah, might be. Uh, is that a safe one down? <laughs> Maybe from this side? Oh. No. Because that is elevated beyond where we... Because we came down the south part where the op actual gate opens up, right? Uh, so this is in between the two. Oh, no, this was just a pathway up here. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's just... Do a little uh, run along the edge here. Yeah, quiet, quiet. All right, we got a drop, uh, and that's going out to the wastes. Right, we have not actually come to this edge. Uh -uh. What's up? Drawstring poison grease. Okay. Mm -hmm. Solidified grease made from a mixture of poison green materials. A short string attached to this lump. Inflicting poison with a brief effect owing to its small size. So yeah, there's definitely... 
the, the, the map shows off, like, this beach area as just, like, extended um, from this dark part is, I guess, the, the, the limit to the drop. Mm. Uh, and you're chilling. You're chilling. Okay. Well, the cave would probably be along a wall, right? So... Uh, are you the really tough bats? Because, like, those ones we fought inside of the fort... Yeah, it looks Yeah, like those are the fucking strong ones. The pale assholes. Okay. Alright. This might be... a problem. Can you not attract any attention, bat? Okay. Uh, step one. Get the get the wrong Cestus off. Oh, you got the unupgraded spiked. So we don't make that mistake. Two. Everybody's waking up now. So we're in it. All right. Now we can freeze them. Whoops. Night, not so bad. Oh, they die faster to magic than like the fizz, the strikes, because I was punching on them for a minute mm -hmm. before. Uh, also, this is just also very uh, a strong spell using my highest stat. Oh, double miss then. Also, the um, uh, my my, I've also taken a lot of the trimmed the fat on my magic bar because I had too many spells and. Oh, okay. Um, it was kind of. It was getting... It's crowded. Getting crowded, yeah, exactly. Hard to navigate. Yeah, precisely. Wow, this place is infested with them. Mm-hmm. And none of them even sing. I was hoping one of them would, at least. Are you even the same thing? Upside down bat? Yeah, you're just hanging, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, the giant! Nice. Oh, yeah! Okay, but he's gonna start tossing. Alright, fuck you, buddy. Uh, let's... No, wait, not that. Oh, and there's stuff going on over there, too. Okay, well... We're new here, right? Oh, here's a location.
this bird and a giant. Is it safe? How strong is he? Whoops. We're right into the pots. Alright, that plan didn't work out Execution? as well. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's fine. He's just a regular giant. Okay. And the swipe. Alright, he's just, yeah, he's just a regular gi giant. I wanted to, like, see if I could start a stun lock right up in this <laughs> asshole with the gravity. Like, what if the gravity... Reverse hitbox on the back of him? What if it could, what if it could appear inside of him? And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah. What if you can get right in between the legs, you know, and just make it really hurt? Uh, that would be fun. Coming from the inside. That would be fun. <laughs> Probably should have got up to break these open, too. Oh, revenge. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe there's something inside there. So, uh... This is the drop to where we fought the death bird. Sips. String. Uh, okay. So what is in here? An item. Major head, be wary of ambush. Shirt group. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I see. Uh huh. Wow. A lot of people are concerned about it. How bad is the ambush? That's how it starts. Not done. Okay, you can handle this. You can handle this. Open your guard. And that's it. Which leads to? Uh, yeah, yeah. Say, it's say it leads to something. Cilia Gateway. So I can figure out where I am. <laughs> huh. Okay. Gateway. 
What, Rams want a piece? Oh, fuck off. Bitch. Damn. Could have just gone about your way. There could be a sniper up there. Ooh. Yo. <laughs> nice. I like Anime. That. Jump over the attack into R2. Let's go. Eternal Darkness for the Nintendo 64? <laughs> what? How's your sanity? Creates a dark space that draws in spells. Forbidden Sorcery of Celia, Town of Sorcery, creates a space of darkness that draws in sorceries and incantations. Can be cast while in motion. When originally a lost sorcery of the Eternal City, the despair that brought about its ruin made manifest. So it's like negating sorceries and incantations that come your way, I guess? That sounds better than deflecting them. If it just st stays there? And yeah. It's active and so it just eats whatever they're casting? Ooh, that could be fucking... That sounds good. What you need? 35? 35 we're good. We can do it. We can do it. No silly faith or arcane needed. Right? Fuck your magic. But what about my magic? Does mine get swallowed too? I imagine. Right? That's I hope a, not. I, I mean, if, if so, that's an, that's an even better level of, like, Havel's fuck magic style. Of just, like, I'm gonna put a black hole that makes you unable to do anything down. Eat shit. Let's fight. Yep. There you go. There you go. Eternal Darkness. For the Nintendo 64. Not the GameCube. Oh. The Nintendo 64. Yeah. Same name? What is the name of that Darkness game on GameCube? Are you thinking of uh, Shadow Man? The game where you go around and you can lose your sanity. I mean, you're pretty much describing Eternal Darkness. But. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about up? What about, uh, can, can you get up? Pargon, Pargon, Pargon. There's gotta be a way up. Yeah, it looks very um, treacherous. It's inviting, even. Well, there's no uh, horse. Actually, is it? <laughs> is there anything to actually get up there? Hmm. I don't see a... An item or something. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm trying to see if there's a wall that's like climbable. Yeah, yeah. Would Torrent climb this? Perhaps not. Okay. Alright. We got a bloodhound hanging out all the way over here. Interesting. Ah, uh, head. Okay, so this is Swamp Lookout Tower. So this is the complete other side of that swamp. Uh huh. Uh, and that leads right back to town. Didn't find what we were looking for. Not quite. We're looking for a cave, but we found new things. Um. This edge goes all the way around here. Is there any drops? Not really. Field goal. Okay. So then back up towards this. 
Yeah, we're, we're, one goal has distracted towards another. <laughs> as you do. In yep. This fucking game. Uh, oh, wait, no, this is an entirely isolated lift. Oh, map. Why won't I wish. God damn it, I wish I could draw lines on the map mm. to just like outline I've that this here. is all not. You know? Yeah, you can't access this. Yeah, this is all not connected lock, land. Lock, I guess the lock. little, the little, you know what, actually? The little darkness divots are, are supposed to be telling me that, to be, to be honest, so. Okay. So, nothing from this side. Oh. Alright, let's go back up. And at a certain point, too, we can try to work on the secrets later. Okay. Uh, took out the giant. Where are we going? Oh. Always a couple more of you. Oh, I just missed that one. Okay. Nope, the music says otherwise. Okay, so we checked out that cliffside for the cave and we didn't find it. Uh, could it be inside that skull? Did we look at this area of I graveyard? Don't know. Where's the church relevant relative to us? It's right over there. Oh! Oh yeah, you guys. I forgot about you guys. Damn bugs. Oh, that noise though. Right. The clicking gets to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so church behind. A bunch of zombos. That's fine. Very vertical. Is there anything oh, to... Oh, okay, you found a branch. Anything to this? This is a big skull. I don't know. I don't see anything. Yeah, perhaps not, huh? And this goes down? <laughs> Where did you come from? Uh, on the way up, there yeah. were those traps. Forgot about them. Yeah. And I, I was looking at that, so I never quite took a look at this. I got a little distracted. Oh, man, that's silly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, over the graveyard. Precipice. This gra graveyard's pretty big, admittedly. Yeah. Not sure which graveyard we're looking for. Uh. Or at least a statue to put us in the direction. Uh. That's always a possibility, too. You. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, 
we have to decide how much time to spend looking for this thing. Seems hard to find. Are we putting it in the backlog? Ah? Huh? Oh, church fleet. Okay. Yeah, I guess it might not be completed for this sprint. We'll have to put that in the backlog. Hold on. Hold on. Move on to the next story. <laughs> Hold on. There's a platform down there. Oh. Could it be like a way to drop down to the beach? Which still isn't necessarily a cave path, but... No, 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 no. Looks dangerous. No, never mind. All right, this gave this graveyard's actually it surrounds the church entirely. <laughs> um So at which point where are we supposed to look? Precipice is of course any <laughs> cliffside. <laughs> like it's all cliffs. Hidden cave in the town of Celia. Oh. Let's look towards the town. So that we can... Uh, let's look towards the town. So that we're following to the letter of the word. Yeah, you're going to bother me? All right. So there's this wall. Did we go there? What's that? All right, back to look at all. And now back to the wall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that doesn't look like an opening. Uh, in the town. It's pretty fogged up. Uh, let's get a better look over this way. Yo, how hard was it to find? <sighs> All right, about to give up. We're burning daylight. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if we're close, if we're far, if we're hot or cold. Yeah, we're burning daylight. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I guess that'll be for homework. Yep. From what I see, it's a hard cave to find. If uh, if the note is straight up lying, <laughs> that's not cool. Then that's gonna be uh, bad for for recording. Uh, all right, Archery. What it is, what it is, what it is. Where are your guardians? And where is your... Your avatar? Took the juice? Oh, really? Yeah. Ready to go. Oh, 
Another putrid avatar. Big rot. Yep, that counts. <laughs> Damn, we're really taking hits. Good dodge. Not that one. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, yeah. You like the freeze? Torrent! What are you even punching into? <laughs> Is it like headless? It's hard to get a full look at it while it's in action right now. <laughs> it's like a big crevice. And Aurelia aimed right for the crevice where a squirt. Now she's gone. It's all you, baby. Uh-oh. I hate that message so much. Still. Yeah, it's inconvenient. Just give me the seed. Whoa. That looks so cool. Here comes the faith. Oh, touched. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> one two combo. That's all you need sometimes, huh? It's one, two. Yeah, sometimes it's a touch of death, but you it's but you don't think it is. So it's a, it's a, sometimes it's a touch of death, but it doesn't look like it, you know. You're like, I'm getting back up. Oh, the stake put us where? Uh oh, up the tree. In front. And 34k is right over there. Alright. Alright. Good luck. Don't lose anything. We'll try. Where the soul's at? Where the uh, soul? Oh, okay. Right there. Right there. Just under 35. Yeah, okay. If you're going to Scarlet Rot, then we're just going to... Oh, shit. You were saying? Oh, boy. What you going to do? Seems like your thought was interrupted there for <laughs> it a was, second. It sure was. <laughs> Avatar turned this into an honest fight real quick. Mm-hmm. Get out of that, Scarlet. Right under. A 
again. Nice navigation. There's a cliffside right over there. Yeah, all right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, almost got tra trapped there. Oh my god, it's the second time. Okay. Alright. Big Astaroth swing. Yeah, no, the uh, overhead. Oh. When I'm going for the circling around him if he's doing the overhead it might track a little bit stronger mm -hmm. uh all right this time where'd they go they're over there all right let's see if we can grab them first now nah, they're probably too close huh all right fine Cool, cool. Damn, Torrent. Oh, that's annoying. Aurelia! Aurelia! Are you good? Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Rotting jellyfish. Alright. Right in the butt. Right a coattail. Aim. Now it's all you, baby. Missed combo. Nice. All right. Almost there. Charge!
I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Don't get touched. This is where we are. Don't get touched. <laughs> ah, Wooly. Oh, Wooly. Oh, man. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> that feels bad. Sag. I, that didn't feel greedy. That felt that, no, you were, you were that felt like just getting 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 in there, but uh, the critical mistake. Uh huh. All right, time to play it even safer. Where my money at? You better find it. I picked it up. It's good. It was right there. Alright. <laughs> Yo, Putrid uh, is like, I'm here all day, baby. Every Alex player is cheering for Putrid Avatar. Yeah, waiting of for the, the stomp. combo video <laughs> to pop on Twitter. The stomp, <laughs> getting bodied the whole time, and then uh, uh, KO. <laughs> Where's Demon Dad? Where is he? <laughs> Senpai, are you looking? Faith boys. No, don't go for that fourth anymore. Ooh, that was close. Easy, easy, easy. Carry. One mistake. Yeah. Oh shit. What? Extended. Was that a trap? Man, this is chaotic. Storm battles. Extended. God. <laughs> yep, double sip. Sip to forget. Sip to forget. Alright. Opaline heart tear. You made me earn it. Stone barb crack tear. What does it do? Pale it is pale it. Yo. 
Palid is Palid. 125. Dry ass avatar. All putrid all over you. He's like, I need two hits. I need yeah, two he hits. He just needs to catch you once. I, I, if it's I the got same, you, I got it's you. It's the same thing. Just like the, the bell bearer. Yep. Same dude. But this time, if I catch you, it's done. <laughs> you gotta do it. Now you gotta do it flawless. It worked. Opaline hard tier. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Can be mixed. And it will temporarily boost all forms of damage negation. Big, big defense. Yep. That's it. Weird ass shape on that one. All forms. That's really good. Uh, numbers. Anybody give me know the percentage? Like a 10, maybe? Between 7 and 54. Very good. Best buff. Number go up. About up 20. Around 15, 20. Good. Good, good. 15, 20 is good. Put in 10. And then the stone, stone barb cracked tear. Uh, the resulting concoction makes one's attack more likely to break enemy stances. However, the effect lasts only for a short time. Mm. Oh, shit. Yo, this plus fucking fists. Uh, oh, brock, brock, oh, brock, brock, oh, bow, oh, bow. Oh, just killing <laughs> over. Oh. <laughs> Work the body. I like the sound I of that. I love a good liver blow. I like though. the sound of that. Big crumples. Stack them up. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Can you look at... Go in again? Didn't we get a, a, a fancy stone? Fancy sword key? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we... That's... God damn it. Oh, my God. Okay, list of things to... Thi list of <laughs> things. Too many things. So that's what it was, yes. Uh, and before starting the session, I had a fourth thing in mind that it was to go back to the... Exactly, yeah. That was... You know, you know what I was going to do? I was going to take screenshots of each one. And the medallion. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Before the session, I was like, okay, and don't forget the imbued stored key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Oh, my God. All right. You know what I'm going to do? From now on, when I check to do the notes, I'm going to have another column for things to do. <laughs> well, so honestly, like literally, I was going to do that right today. Yeah. <laughs> As you came in, I sat down and said, we have an imbued sword key. And we just went forward with everything else. Oh, man. But I'm going to take the screenshots to just make sure that, like, yeah, we don't... <laughs> Get lost in the fucking sauce, cause sauce. There's so much drowning in it from soft, yo. Yeah. It'll just have to be a case of fuck you. <laughs> Do it as soon as I rem I think of it instead of waiting. <laughs> uh, right. Oh my god, okay. Let's get back to a... Let's get back to some grace. Ooh. Jeez, that, that hit me. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm annoyed at myself because I literally took note of it you and then forgot it, again. You forgot. <laughs> That's even more annoying than completely forgetting. <laughs> Alright, okay. First on the list... What's going on? Let's focus on one thing. 40. At a time. Uh, I need under four. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I uh, need about 4K. Yeah. Holy. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go. All right. What? Which one was missing again? Hold up. I don't even remember. 
Um, anticipation, possibly. Oh, no, no. Um, Starry Night. Mm. Something. Right. Uh, strength and Magic. Now we have... Let's go Order of Acquisition. Now we've got the Stance Breaker and the overall defense. Hmm. What's the mix? Hmm. What you cooking? Let's try this out for a while. I think I'd feel the, the benefits more. Um, on on foot, in while uh, while fisting. Uh, right. So the last belfry. Forget that. Always <laughs> tucked around the corner. There you go. Nice guy on C6. Right. Okay. Where are we going? Nocron. Eternal City. So there's one that leads you here, and it is... We are on the other side. Of the bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That Blythe was looking at, and he was stumped. Ooh. That was close. <laughs> so it was underground. Was it was where I thought we would be going. Well, I mean, the moment it says night sky, like, well, yeah, when it said night sky, I was like, it's gonna send us underground. Yeah. So I figured I didn't want to go here, and we went to the other belfries, right? Yes, uh, but like, yeah, night sky and ceasing is definitely referencing the fact that you got an underground sky. Uh, all right, so let's let's take a look around. Oh, seems like it's only that one way. <laughs> I see you. This looks like moon texture. Uh huh. Nice helmet. Uh huh. Crucible. <laughs> Yo, let's get it. the next fall yeah what have you Okay, item up ahead. Might be stuff back there. Boo. Wow. Put something back there. Ghost. Who is the challenger? Yeah, I'm gonna. That looks. That looks like a run back. Action, huh? <laughs> Let's go. All right, buddy.
Oh, we can open it up. Oh. Okay. Glintstone not doing as much as the arrow. Maybe because the arrow hit in the back. That's the real thing, baby. Did you forget? Here's the taste. That's new. It's got new gear. It's got new gear. Uh oh. That's a jump. Mixes. Mix. And that's the edge of the cliff. Okay. Yeah. New gear. Re. Re up with some fire. Okay. Gotta remember how to do that. Now, I learned how to fight him with a block. Mm. Um, if I've got my shield off, uh, it's gonna be a little different. It's a different game entirely. Yeah. Cause I was, I was, uh, I was, I was doing, if you remember, I was circling and then blocking the next one and then like Dodging using that things, as the, Getting in the back. Exactly. But now it's a narrow path. <laughs> You're not in a little circle here. It's gonna be... I mean, I can still do it that way. Just, yeah. Just fine. Probably. Hopefully. Do I need to hard for this? I don't think so. I don't imagine. Okay. Oh, and there's still that item at the far end. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Please no traps. Molted, modded, modeled, modeled. I've never heard that word before. Necklace. What is that? Are you a talisman? Modeled. Meaning. Marked with spots or smears of color. A vividly colored accoutrement precious to the ancestral followers. Raises immunity, robustness, and focus. Said to be a budding horn. Yeah. We've got a few of those. The ancestral followers believed uh, that the horns of a long lived beast continued to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. That's probably what's going to happen to Torrent. I think if we look at that moose and its jumps and the way that it has such a similarity oh. to Torrent, I, I think we're looking at the end evolution of Torrent's Pokemon okay. path. Well, Torrent, we'll come and visit you at your grave. If we're still alive by then. Yeah, that first shot in the back is pretty good. And then he shields that one. Damn. Aspects of the Crucible. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
flames. Ooh, that's, that's cool. Okay. Interesting. Watch your step. Uh oh. Yeah, you want to zone a little bit. Nice. Good movement. Oh, you went behind the stomp. Nice. We good, we good. Freeze. Not bad. No drop. Oh. And that was like 3k runes. 10 AP. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's go. We got 10 our AP. We got our 10 AP. <laughs> so, it's about the clout and it's about that talisman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crucible Knights are cool. And clearly, there are more aspects of the Crucible than uh, we originally yeah. thought. So we got the tail, the wings, and that looks like the gullet, you know? <laughs> Fire gullet. Yeah, we'll probably see the, uh, the incantation for that and then firmly chuck it into our storage for its faith requirements. Okay, so we just teleport out, I guess. Let me take another look over this way. Fucking majestic, yep. man. That's beautiful. God damn. Cute. Yeah. Wow. And I'd love to... Well, I'm sure we're going to find out more about... Like, are these stars... Are the artificial stars of the underground linked to... Um, Radon's... Ceasing of the original... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Movement of the constellations. Could it be that... Yeah, exactly holding one the stars one back. caused the other because of the star <laughs> scourge oh man fucking incredible okay so that's that uh i guess we're out thank you belfries where to now back to Kalid. Um, not the shack, but, uh, yeah, the earth tree. Home. Um, I feel as if the... The Wondrous Physic uh, took a couple hits and reduced the damage on them while, uh, you know, we were fighting okay. Crucible there. Like, it did some work. Th not that we got a crumple on him, though, because yeah. that's the kind of enemy that is uh, hit and run. So we're going to hold on to that mix for now? Um, maybe not. Well... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to keep the defense on, mm -hmm. and I think I might, uh, I think I might, uh, need to, I'll need to see how the crumple goes. Oh, you're sturdy guardians too. There you are. Are you the same as the ones up top? 
No, maybe. I think you're, you're you look a little different. It is the same. Yeah. The stuff on your back oh, okay. made it seem a little like... Uh, no, it is the same. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Fashion is already acquired. Still standing. There's a lot of them. Uh, uh, bleeding from the mouth. Uh. Yeah, I can't wait for the... The cold-blooded Cestus, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> cold-blooded Cestus. Both popping, seeing two bars go up. Slowing down too. Losing stamina. Proc the damage. Ugh. I heard the footsteps of a giant. That's the dragon walking around. Okay, that's what it is. God damn it, I forgot. Always put the phalanx up first. Then do the shot. Can you cancel the shot on the horse? No. Not on, that I know of. Ground? Okay. I don't think I can. I think I, I I saw somewhere you can roll cancel when you're on foot. But I never... I don't know. I didn't test it. What? Motherfucker. <laughs> what the an Scarab asshole. This hit you. What an asshole. That can happen? Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't... Uh for an ash. <laughs> Hind kick. <laughs> From a beetle, sure. Okay, so this coast uh, goes down this way. Oh, there's a dragon down there. Mm hmm. And that's one way down. I see. Grace? Oh ho! Good eye. Are you... Is it a slow dragon or a normal no, dragon? No, I don't know if you're one of the decrepit ones. Yeah. You might be... healthy. And, f and flourishing. Alright, well, there's, there's one way to go then. Depends on whether he gets a name and a life bar, you know? Please don't spot us while we're on the really tiny branch. <laughs> I say as Wooly takes out the Great Blade. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> don't get its attention. Swing! 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 I don't like that aim. Let's manual it. Unlock. Nope. It's a lame dragon. Okay, okay. What are you gonna do, dragon? Nothing. Alright. 
I mean, it might jump at some point, but... For now, uh, it seems... It won't jump. These dragons aren't rats. Oh, oh, oh. Find it, no rat. Let's go. Here we go. More than 50. More than 50 damage. That's not the way you dodge it. <laughs> They're still so annoying to kill. That's how you do it. In a small space, yes. Are you sure you want to st summon your steed while you're trying to escape under this dragon? Are you sure? Iframes. <laughs> you know. Are you sure? <laughs> Iframes. Finally, three, four, five k. Okay, three point four for that. Yeah. If you can find a way to melt them faster, it's uh, that's exactly it. Because yeah. they take they take too much of your time and attention. Oh, this is a nice location. Friend required a hit. Surface ahead. Ooh. Nice tree. This is the Dragon Barrow Fork. Okay, the roads seem to connect here. It sure does. Uh, yeah, we deleted Dragon Barrow West, so we can put this as the forward push. Uh, and then back over this way. It all connects, but uh, let's just scrape the sides of this wall before we head towards yeah. that. Oh, wait. It was already on. And then I feel as if there's going to be some more uh, along the wall up until this break point. So we can check out over here. There's a structure out here. And then we have the pathway across the bridge. And then, of course, the sanctum. Which, once you take out that that big gargoyle, um, it seems as if a lot of that sanctum area is clear, except for just, you know, the um, vulgar militia. Okay, yeah. Which is not too bad. So yeah, this is the road off of the path to the tower. Cool. Uh, Up and down? Yeah, did we ever look down? I don't think we've ever been there. Right? No. Hmm. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff. Is that a chair? Uh, lighting is trying to catch up. Signs of life. Another... Russian roulette. Another, yeah. 
Musical chairs. Uh -huh. All right, who has the stone sword key? Oh, that's that's expensive. Nice. What did you bring to the battle? Nice. I also it's bought number nine. I bought some from um, that that merchant as well. A leaf. To tear your leaf. <laughs> we would have been like, get the fuck out of here with that leaf, bruh. <laughs> I can't even turn it into tea. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Level. Just yeet a hundred runes in his face. Get out of here. Level 1000. Let's go. 50. Oh, the base of the tower. Hmm. Okay. There's got to be something interesting down here, no? Again. No give up ahead. <laughs> you hear that? No, it's not a twinkle. Never mind. I thought I did earlier. I thought you heard it. Okay. I heard something when you were coming this way. Yeah. All right. But I'm really bad with twinkles. I have trouble, like, parsing the sound. No, but I, I heard it as well. But maybe not. If we both did, I'm going to believe in it a little more. Uh, either way, that round looks treacherous although you know like this land makes sense being here because the tower wasn't built on out of the water mm. you know has to lean on something so even if they don't put anything here well that's deep water yeah GG. What a council meeting. You know? The whole despair. Needed some privacy, you know? So the, and there's another dragon corpse right over there to along that. Uh, oh yeah, that pathway. It's 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 uh, petrified almost. Not not anywhere near the size of uh, the big big one. Mm, okay okay okay. Uh, I think they said it was Grail. Twenty two eight. Twenty two eight. All right, so we're back at that grace. Somber nine. Yeah, I don't use any. I currently am not using any weapons that require somber, though. I see. So it's cool, but I'm looking for other things. There you are. Yeah, some of the faster moving enemies. So you guys are extending down here because of the tree. Yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't matter uh, whether the circumference is... Elevated or low, as long as you're near the tree. Mm. Uh oh. Double sip, just in case. And the ribs. Guardian Greaves. Why does that look like a boulder is about to come rolling this way? 
would be a good path. Right? Okay. And then there's that path. Alright, so we're going up to the Sanctum from the opposite end. Connecting the dots. I wonder if, if any of these jars, like, if you bait them into breaking it open, you'll get anything from it. Be wary of wrath, therefore try talisman. Ah, don't worry about it. You're facing the way that implies you came down from above. Get our Fulger Bloom. We take those, we take those. And there's Whoa. another dragon corpse. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. kind of like that, actually. Hey, are you real? Fake until proven otherwise. You're either, you're either fake because you don't have a name, or you're fake because you back the fuck down. But there's a steeple. Not rotting yet. Oh yeah, a bit of on the on the wings, I guess. Well, it did say they used to have scales uh, that protected them, but now that that's gone, uh, you can expect them to degrade. I imagine uh, grace down there. Yeah. And graveyard some runes, probably. Even all the money from the dead. You think that would bring you bad luck? And then when the dead raise up to stop you, you beat them down and teeth their money too. Everybody's getting robbed. What church is this? Nassau building. Ah, thank you. Horse jump. Are we close enough? As long as you see that aura around his feet. All right. <laughs> it's all good. Calculated. Where are we at? Lens rise. Or Lene. More rises. Yeah. Okay. Switch the fork up for that one. It's like a dream. Alright, what are we looking for? Oh! No note? Broken statue. Oh, look at these vandals. Interesting. Is it still the same principle? Gotta find another way in. You don't have the right ahead, but try high spot. I could use another slot. <laughs> Although, quite frankly, I have too many. Yeah. What I could use is magic that requires more slots. Because, uh... Yeah, can't be cycling that heavy. No turtles in the trees. Right? How about this, though? Oh, big jump? Yep. Okay. Various mistakes were made. <laughs> ah, you slipped. 